Now, how did you do that? I was in the tree and I slipped. How many times do I have to tell you not to play in that tree, Dolores? Sit on the chair so I can look at it. Does it hurt much? You've been told not to run in the house, haven't you? Out you go, out. And now, you mustn't move for 13 seconds. Thank you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost, Amen. For what we're about to receive, may the Lord make us truly thankful. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Just to be on your way, Gio. You'd better make sure the children are in bed.
Enough talk. You're going to wake up your sister. This year I'm going with you. Mm. This year, Gio, I'm going with you. While you're at it, you might as well bring grandma and the children. Hello, amigos. Howdy. Well, you seem almost ready, Joseph Albert, huh? Well, just about. That's right. You know something? You must have all you need in that wagon with all the work you put in. All I need for the road. You know, if you worked on your woman as much as on this wagon... <laughs> Holy Jesus! You're a real artist. Yeah, no doubt about that. All them bottles and thingamajigs. How'd you remember what's what? Well, I'm used to it. How long does it take you to... Uh, to go all the way down to Maine? Go on, don't kid me. You know darn well. <laughs> Last time around, it took me about six weeks. It depends. Six weeks. You know, I wouldn't mind going away. Hold it up while I move in. Now hold the bottom while I move out. Mommy, can I help you with the sheets? No, you're too small, dear. They'll just drag on the floor. But mommy, I'd like to do it. You stop that right now! Go and play outside, Dolores. Go on. I know. I have no patience left, Grandma. There's some days like that. Some days? It's been that way for years. No, no. Stop it, Grandma. I'm the one doing it. Naturally, you think like Gio. It's wrong for me to go away. There's nothing left between us. We hardly look at each other anymore. What do you complain about? You know. He's a hard worker. He doesn't drink. Well, maybe if he drank, he'd talk more. You're right. He supports me. Just what do you expect to gain from this trip? That we talk to each other, perhaps. Gia takes after his father. He's a quiet man, you know. 
Tail. When we first got married... We... Sometimes I wonder if it's not the children. Anyway, it's useless to worry about a trip you may not even make, my dear. You haven't been able to place the children. Oh, I forgot to tell you. Emily's agreed to look after the girls. Emily. Emily Lambert. She can't even look after her own children. I can't imagine how sorry I am about this, but I just can't look after them now. You know, with my husband working on the railroad, I've got to look after the farm. I can't even look after the house, you know, and uh, naturally I wouldn't want to neglect the girls. I'm sure you understand. That's all right, Emily. I'll work things out some other way. Well, I'll see you later then. You can come out now. It wasn't me that started the fight. It was him. Look, I don't know who started it. I wasn't there. But the next time you boys fight, you're going to stay inside all day, like it or not. Rosé May. Well, what's it going to be? Is it yes or no? It's no. Oh, that's just great, you know. Yesterday, you tell her it's all right, and now you're going to tell her no. I changed my mind, that's all. Three girls is a lot of work all at once. It's a lot of bother. Why does she have to go with him on this trip anyway? I'm not going, am I? Also, once again this year, Jia will be going away. To photograph his regular customers. Well, this year, I've decided to go with him, even though I know he does not agree. After having tried everything to place the children, I thought, dearest auntie, that perhaps you could look after them. You are my only hope left.
Aunt Alma. Grandma. Auntie's here. Gio. Aunt Alma's here. Well, have her come in. Yes, of course. I'm so silly. Here, Auntie, let me take your bags. What handsome boys they truly are. Oh, Uncle Els is going to be looking after them. He's coming to pick them up tomorrow. Oh, yes, I see. Well, come in. Come and sit down. You must be tired. The children will look after your bags. Come in. Oh, never mind that. Come in. Gia, it's Aunt Alma. How do you do, Miss La Chapelle? Just fine, thank you. That's it. I'll have to go and do my photography with a woman on my hands. She finally won, I guess. I told her to give two spoonfuls to the baby. Well, isn't that what you give her? Right. But one soup spoon's like two regular ones. Mm. Not quite two regular ones, but a bit more than one. You want some more? I guess the children must be in bed by now. Yeah, probably. My God, what's that?
Oh, isn't that beautiful? Smell good coffee. It's hot. Oh, it's well brewed. This must be the first time in 15 years I haven't made coffee in the morning. Ah, oh, it's a pleasure. My goodness, everything's so calm here. I hope Auntie is not having too much trouble with the baby. How do you do, mister? Howdy. Sure is a sticky one today. Yeah. We're headed for Scott's Point. You got a bridge yet? A bridge for the railroad or a bridge for the wagons? Because, uh, the bridge for wagons hasn't been built yet. Oh, I see. Listen, uh, where are you folks off to? Moving down to the States? No, no. Well, thanks for the information. Goodbye. Have a good trip. Go on. See the pretty little girl back there? Yeah. She looked a bit like Dolores somehow, you know. No. Well, maybe I should try and take my shortcut. Go on! <laughs>
what's on your mind? Nothing. You? The mud made me think of something. <laughs> what happened when we got acquainted? When we got acquainted? Yes, I was with Adimar. The one who never got married? I don't know what you're talking about. Gio Martin, you know what I have in mind. No, I don't. Joseph Albert Martin, your eyes sit different. I don't know what this is about. <laughs> <laughs> I'd fallen in life. <laughs> you were a terrible sight. <laughs> I'd fallen backwards. <laughs> you smell. You smell terrible. <laughs> Why don't you go wash my shirt instead of clowning around? Gia! Gia! What? I love you! So do I! I know I'm always talking about the children, but I can't help it, they're there. But I'm really very happy to be with you. It's the first time we've been all alone together. What about you? Are you happy? Gio? Huh? You're not listening, Gio. Sure, I'm listening. What was I saying? You were talking about the children? No, I wasn't, Gio. I was talking about us. Well, we'll soon be at the Gagnon Hotel now. I hope Raoul's there. I suppose I ought to change. You can do that in the hotel. Gio, you know how long it is since I've been in a hotel? The last time was during our honeymoon. Whoa. Well... I'll go take the clothes off the line. You're very beautiful. It's all creased. It's all rumpled here. No one will notice there's a crease there. Well, I will. So? Am I all right? Just beautiful. You're always beautiful, Gio. There we are. You know, Mrs. Marte, I'm very happy to have you with us. We've been hearing so much about you. Tell me. You've had a good trip so far? Yes, we have. Oh, I'm sorry. That's the bar. Oh, well, tonight's a wee bit noisy, but it's quite unusual. It's because it's Saturday. <laughs> I'm going to have to leave you just a few minutes. Excuse me, I'll be right back.
changes in the barbershop, uh, she, huh? I'd like to show it to you. Grandpa, there's some pretty little things in here tonight. Ah, oh, Jiro. I suppose she's just passing through. I wonder if she'd have a glass of beer with me. Uh, she's driving me out of my mind. Hmm. Did you see the boobs on her? Jesus, that's something. Nice, huh? Great photograph. It was taken by a fella from Quebec. That's me here. That's the photographer. A friend of yours? Oh, sure is. He comes every year. Matter of fact, he'll be coming to take pictures tomorrow. Not a big talker, but he's got a great eye. Is that his wife sitting with him? No, that's Valentine, my girlfriend. Anyway, she was. <laughs> How about a wee bottle of beer, huh? <laughs> My goodness, Raoul. You know Mrs. Martin? Mrs. Martin? Oh, <laughs> you're Gia's wife, and you, and you just let me talk. <laughs> I wasn't aware you'd come in. <laughs> you're a fine one, you know, just letting me talk away. <laughs> Gia! You know where he is. He's in the barbershop. Excuse me. <laughs> Gia! <laughs> Excuse me. Mrs. Martin. Gia! Completely new upholstery. Gia! <laughs> you son of a dog! Oh, how are you, Raoul? <laughs> you owe me a game of pool, and you're playing it tonight. Uh, I don't know about that. You see, I'm with my wife this year. I know, I just saw her. <laughs> she and I just got acquainted. She's a pretty little thing, you lucky boy. <laughs> They come in here, they don't touch anything, they're very clean, they're absolutely impeccable. They remind me of fashion models. Oh, they're so enchanting, those girls, really. Hello, Mrs. Gagnon. Could you give us uh, room one? Well, same as usual. Of course. <laughs> Madam? <laughs> Make sure it's the same. Of course, of course, the best. Thank you. Madam? <laughs> oh, ho, 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 ho. <laughs> Uh, that's uh, Mr. Beaupre. He's a traveling salesman. Uh, he comes here all the time with his, uh, um, with Mrs. Beaupre. <laughs> oh, Zimmy, why don't you go up right away? I'll come up and join you in a minute. I've got some things to discuss with Mr. Gagnon. He's going to prepare some great pictures for tomorrow. Come with me, Mrs. Martin. I'll show you where your room is. Isn't the wallpaper just exquisite? Hmm? <laughs> if you want to wash, there's everything you need in the corner. There's water in the jug. 
Oh, I'm sure you won't regret your stay here. I'm sure you won't. It's really comfortable. My goodness, here I am talking away. You must be quite tired. You must want to rest while I'm going. Yes, I'm a bit tired. Thank you very much. Have a good night. It'll be somewhat like last year. They'll all come over here right after Mass. Good, that's perfect. Is the room all right? The room's all right, but uh, did you hear that? What do you expect? It's a hotel. You're not going to spend the night here, listening to that. It certainly won't last all night. I won't spend the night here. All right. Oh, I'm awfully sorry, Mrs. Martin. But you see, Mr. Beaupre is a traveling salesman. He works so hard sometimes that once in a while he's a bit noisy. Come along. I'll put you in another room. I'll give you number nine. You'll see. You'll be extremely comfortable. Here we are, Mrs. Martin. This is a beautiful room. You'll be just fine. There's nobody next door, nobody on either side. I'm sure you'll sleep like an angel. I'm so sorry, Mrs. Guy. Oh, no, no, no. It's my pleasure. Don't mention it. Well, good night. Sleep well, Mrs. Martin. One to go.
Wouldn't be surprised if you lost that little badge, yeah? How about another one, Gia? Double or nothing. No, that'll be all for tonight. Too many things to prepare for tomorrow morning. You seem to be somewhat nervous with the wife around. Well, could be. Good night. See you. Good night. Good night. Good night, Gia. Good night. See you tomorrow. Now then, there's Mr. Le Montagne. And... Mr. and Mrs. Duval. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, children, there's just the two of you, right? Right. Yes. All right, that makes three. Uh, oh, all right. How are you? How do you do, ma'am? Then we have, uh, uh, of course, the Farciers. How, How do you do? do? All right, that's five more setups to go. Now, lean back on the armchair. Yes, that's it. With the little girl a little more to the side. Yeah, that's perfect. You look right into the lens, all right? Uh, it's not dangerous for children, is it, Mr. Martin? <laughs> Not at all, Mrs. Vanderhoek. Not that coat, ill roast in this heat. Well, I'm sorry. I told you just a moment ago. It wasn't clear. Is it clear now? We'll spend ten minutes drying his perspiration. Ozemi, come and hold the backdrop. I have got some reflection. A little higher. Uh, do I pay now or do I pay later? You pay now. Where should I put the money? There, in that box. Why don't you go? He might need some change. Look, I can't hold the backdrop and, and collect the money at the same time. Well, go collect the cash now. You can hold the backdrop afterwards and make it fast. The light's going. It's all right. I, I've got the amount. You want a hand? No, no, it's all right. I'll just be a moment. I haven't been much help to you, I'm afraid. It's the first time I've done that. Yes, of course. There was such terrible heat and so many people, I got a bit impatient. It was just as warm for me and just as crowded, you know. Yes, you're right. Finish that tomorrow. No, no. Tomorrow I must deliver all the photos.
there's been something bothering you in the last few days. Hmm? What is it? The children? I'm sick and tired of being alone! Being alone. You're not alone. We're together. Don't play dumb with me, Joseph Albert Martin. Well... Don't come near me, whoa! And don't you run away! I'm not running away. I have nothing to hide. Nothing to hide? You got your darn pictures and that's all. That's all you've talked about in the past 15 years. Well, the only thing you've talked about since our marriage are the children. Sure, but I didn't make the children all by myself, Gio. You were there. If you looked after them a bit more, I'd talk much less about well, them. Well, I look after them my way. You don't look after them. You're always gone. Who's always gone? You know that's a lie. Nobody in the entire county has been at home more than me. That's just what I'm saying. Sometimes I'd like to see you go out and work in the fields like normal folk. And then when you'd come back from work, you might be a bit more at home. Instead of just sticking your head all the under some goddamn black cloth, hearing and seeing nothing besides yourself. Anybody home? Must have gone somewhere. We'll stop on the way back. Just a wee drop, Uncle Joe. I want to show you something now, Rosie Mae. Something very pretty. What is it, Auntie? Oh, it's just something you know quite well, you two. To your health. Your health? Oh. They're photographs of our marriage. It was such a marvelous day. It goes by so fast. You haven't changed. Really, you still look like a young couple, you know. <laughs> well, naturally, they haven't changed. Fifteen years is nothing. We got hitched fifty years ago last month. Mm-hmm. Uh, oh, there's Ademar. He's still a bachelor. <laughs> and he doesn't talk any more than he used to. <laughs> hey, I hope you can stay for supper and spend the night here. Can you? Oh, I'm sure we can. Ah. 
Tell me, you still do all them plays and things like back in the old days when you used to sing? What was he used to sing? Oh, um, yeah, you know, something about red shoes. Um. Mm. Oh, mes souliers sont rouges. Mon amour, mes souliers sont rouges. Mon amour était beau jour. That's it. <laughs> Seems like ages ago. I don't sing anymore, you know. Yeah, it's Adamar. Couldn't have chosen a better time. Hey, where are you going? Come back here. What's the matter with him? Is he drunk or something? Yeah. Come on, come on, Adamar. Why are you so shy all of a sudden? Come in, come in. You're not disturbing us. What's this? Oh. You know these folks here? You know Gia? Yeah, and this one here, you know her? Of course I know her. Yeah, have you eaten yet? I'm not sure hungry. you are. Come sit down. We'll give you a nice slice of cold ham, all right? No, thanks. Hello, <sighs> Ademar. It's been quite a while. You remember the Gagne boy? Yeah, Francois. Right. Sure, I remember. We couldn't have been very old, or somewhere around 12 or 13, right? Not more than that. <laughs> it was after school. Adima would always wait for me after school. Well, one afternoon, the Gagne boy starts throwing rocks at me. Adima just started running after him and gave him this great big slap. <laughs> When the Gagne boy came back to school, he had a tooth missing. <laughs> and he still has no tooth there, even today. It never grew back. <laughs> uh, are you sure you don't want some of this ham, Adema? Just a bit. No. It's good, you know. I know, I'm just not hungry. A another little shot, then. What are you doing now, Adema? Well, in winter, uh, I work in a logging camp. Oh. He works as a cook. <laughs> That's why Lumberjack stays skinny out there. Mm. <laughs> and in the summer, he waits for the winter to come back so he can return there. But not this year. This summer, he's not just waiting around, because he's building himself a cabin in the woods. You recall the one you built in the tree, Adema? We used to say our rosary there. And between each bead, we... We'd give each other a kiss. I remember you are a, a big blue bow in. It was blue. Yeah. Uh, Rose May was always very pious, uh, but uh, prayers never quenched anyone's thirst, right? <laughs> Oh, well, another dead bottle. I'll go get another one. Never mind, I'll go.
what's on your mind? Nothing. You certainly sound very happy this morning. spend the night here. Why don't you come down? Am I still attractive to you, Gia? Why do you ask me that? Because. Well, naturally. Physically. Well, am I? You sure are strange. Certainly. Is it true men like women who are lewd here? What's the matter with you today? That sure smells good, Rosemary. Well, come on, it'll be ready in no time at all. I'm starving. Are you Mr. Blanchet? Oh. It's 
pretty bumpy. Well, let's go. Go on.
Doctor. Uh, go to your left a bit, please. Mrs. Wilson, come forward. Oh, now that's good. Thank you very much. You get on well with the English, don't you? That's part of the business. It's beautiful. I wouldn't mind living in such a pretty place. For that, you'd have to be English. Now, you won't forget the mills. Mr. Scott is expecting you. No, I won't forget. Jolly good. Well, Mrs. Martin, Mr. Martin, have a splendid trip. Thank you very much. Goodbye, Mr. Wilson. Good day to you. Let's go. Look, I'm sorry, Mr. Martin. If you don't take the photographs right now, there'll be no photographs. You understand? No photographs. Listen, those men only have 15 minutes to eat. I'm certainly not taking away five of those minutes to take some photographs. Well, those are the orders I got from Mr. Wilson. The men have got to be back in five minutes. Mr. Wilson. Those men there look terribly disappointed, you. Okay, boys, take your place right in front, everyone. Come on, move it, fellas, quick, quick, quick. Everybody in place for the photograph. If it's all the same to you, I'd rather place them myself. Suit yourself. I was just trying to help. All right, now, the big fellow's in the back, and you young ones come on out in front. You're too tall. <laughs> yes, that's better. Okay, move a little closer. There's room there, lots of room. Now, you up there. Put your arms around each other's shoulders. That's good. You do the same on that side. <laughs> Let's tighten up a bit in the middle now. Fine, fine. Now, don't forget, children. When I say don't move, you just don't move, all right? Go on, go take your place. 
Not him. He was sacked a couple of days ago. Moving a bit. Good. All right, now, we mustn't move for eight seconds. Hold it. Thanks, everybody. Okay, boys, what are you waiting for? Time's up. Let's move it. Come on, now. Come on, now. Let's get back to work. Okay, fellas? Come on. Mr. Martin, little Pierre Tremblay here has been a sack two days ago. Well, he's waiting around for a chance to go home, and we just heard you'll be going through St. Combe. If it's okay, he might, uh... Of course. Thanks. Poor kids get tired. I think it's incredible that Mr. Wilson will have children work 10 hours a day, don't you? At 10 cents an hour? Six mansions, with stables as spotless as a rectory. Poor man's got to make his money somewhere. Mom, I'm home. We'll come back a little bit later. She might be awake then. Hey, Pa. I'd like them to stay for supper.
You see, right now we're here. Mm. We've got to go here to St. Mm. It's about 30 miles. We'd better leave early tomorrow morning. Saturday, I've got to photograph a wedding. You know, I'd rather leave early tomorrow morning than travel at night. What are you doing there? Keep your voice down. You mean you didn't hear her tonight? No. She kept moaning, and it woke me up. Mr. Tombley decided to go and get the priest. How far did you have to go? Well, he said that he'd be here before the end of the day. We can't spend the whole day here. We have to be in saint Home for supper. You're right. But we can't just leave her. Come and look at her. No. no. What you doing there, Mr. Martin? Just cleaning my lens. Hey, everything's huge. Yes. Pierre? Your mother would like to see you. Look here, Mrs. Tremblay. That's the Pope. That comes from Rome. That's where the Pope lives, in Italy. And this here, you see, that's in France. It's the Palace of Versailles. They say that inside, the whole place is filled with mirrors and, and tapestries and, and the furniture is all covered with gold. That's where the kings of France used to live. And this picture here is famous. We ought to be back soon now. Quarter past four. Shh. Hmm? I thought I just heard something. Could you take a look in the bedroom? All right. I'd rather you win.
Don't move. Does it tickle? Mm hmm. has five children. They say she left them alone at home to go traveling around with her husband. Taking a closer look at that pretty woman, huh, Gia? Well, in that case, I'm gonna go on my own.
Albert Martin, you're a filthy louse. For once, when I'm not trapped in my kitchen, either preparing a meal or busy washing dishes. Whoa. I acted like an idiot at that wedding. There have been other times. Somehow I think you were right. I shouldn't have come. I should have stayed home, that's all. It wasn't worth it. Sure about that? Here, drink some. You'll feel much better. No, please, no more liquor. Come on, come on. It's an old drunkard's trick. It's the best remedy for a hangover. Go ahead. home in three days or so. The children. I haven't thought of them for a while, you know. Oh, Midas. Look, the Martins are back. Well, for crying out loud. That's Gia, right? I'm sure happy to see him come home. I was just starting to get bored. Oh! Our home, look. I don't remember it being that large. There's Marie and Dolores playing. They haven't seen us. Oh, that tree is so beautiful. And how wide that porch is. Hey, look. Dolores just saw us. She's running towards us. Let's go. You were awake? Not sleepy?
her cry. She'll go back to sleep. 